Welcome to this Learn Electrics Help and Tips video about the 18th edition wiring regulations exam. Let me just remind you that the 18th edition exam is not about what you can remember, it is based on your understanding of how to use the wiring regulations to find the answers. In other words, can you find the answer in the book? These practice questions are based around that concept. How do I find the answer quickly? You only have two minutes in the exam. And what are the keywords that you should look for? We can begin with question one. With each question, pause the video as required and follow the page number prompts and clues as we find the answer. And the first question is, in BS7671, which of the following installations is excluded from the scope? We should begin by picking out the keywords in the question. Every question will have been written to include enough information and clues to enable you to find the answer. The keywords here are scope and excluded. So we should begin our search by going to my favourite page, the main contents page on page 3. At the top of page 3, we can see scope, object and fundamental principles. This is part one of the regulations and below that title is chapter 11 scope and the book tells us it is on page 15. Page 15 details installations that are included but we want the excluded installations. So turn the page to page 16 and halfway down the page we have exclusions from the scope. Look down the list and search for each of the possible answers in turn. When you get to item number 12, there is electric fences. And that is your answer, answer A. And on to question 2. An item of current using equipment other than a luminaire or an independent motor is the definition of what? And then you have four possible answers. Pick out the key word, which in this case is definition. The question is telling you to go to part two definitions. It couldn't be any plainer than that. Checking on page three, we see the definitions starts on page 24. It is now just a case of comparing each possible answer to the wording in the regulations book. If the wording in the question is an almost exact match for the book, then that is your answer. In this case, Answer D, appliance. And so, on to question three. Remember to pause the video as you work through the clues and keywords on each page. The question asks, which of the following characteristics of the supplies shall be determined by calculation, measurement, enquiry, or inspection? The keywords here are characteristics and supplies. These are our clues. Go to page three, and look for a heading that includes the word characteristics and you'll find this is part three assessment of general characteristics below that is chapter 31 purposes supplies and structure to be found on page 45 but we need to look on page 44 the contents page for part three and there you'll find an entry 313 supplies go to it now on page 49 is 313 supplies and only one of the possible answers appears in the list under 313.1. The answer is C, item 2, the nature of the current and frequency. Question 4 is next. This is from part 4 of the regulations and this is a big section in the exam, around 15 questions. We are asked for protection against electric shock a BSEN 60898 Type B circuit breaker, rated at 32 amps, protects a domestic cooker circuit in a TN system. What is the maximum earth fault loop impedance, ZS, that is permitted by BS 7671 2018? Choose your keywords. Where should we start looking? Page 3 is always a good place. Here we will find part 4 protection for safety and below that chapter 41 protection against electric shock and then we are directed to page 55 
We can find TN system on this page, regulation 411.4. Now we have some new keywords that we can use. First is maximum earth fault loop impedance ZS. Then the words BS EN 60898 type B circuit breaker. And finally the phrase rated at 32 amps. We will find all this information on page 62. By following the keywords, we will get within a couple of pages of the answer, but only practice will tell you it is page 62. Find type B in the table, find 32 amps, and where they cross is the answer. Your answer is A, 1.37 ohms, as found in table 41.3 on page 62. Question 5 now. And part 5 is also a huge part of the exam. 15 questions again. The question asks, When erecting equipment, every firefighter's switch should be placed in a conspicuous position, reasonably accessible to firefighters, and at what distance from the ground or standing position? And there are four possible answers. The key words are underlined for you. Look on page 3 for the words erecting equipment and there we have in part 5 the words selecting and erecting equipment. Also a firefighter switch is a switch and if we look three lines down we will find chapter 53 and there is the word switching and it tells us that more information is to be found on page 152. But go back one page to page 151 and there is another contents page. Look at 537.4, Firefighters Switch, which is to be found on pages 184 and 185. For this question, looking for Firefighter Switch in the index will also take you there. 537.4.2.2, item 3, is the answer. Not more than 2.75 metres. Answer B. Moving on to question 6 now. When carrying out initial verification tests, the prospective fault current should be measured where? Lots of keywords here. Tests, so it must be in the testing section. And initial verification, so we know when it happens. And we know that it is about measuring the prospective fault current. Begin with page 3 again. Find part 6, inspection and testing, and just below that, Chapter 64, Initial Verification, page 230. Go to page 230. We need to do a little bit of searching now. We know we are within a few pages of the answer. We will find 643.7.3.201 in the middle of page 235, titled Prospective Fault Current. The words in the sentence can indicate only one possible answer from the four choices. Our answer is C, at the origin and at other relevant parts of the installation. Question 7 is next, a question on special locations. The question asks, in a caravan, the nominal DC supply voltage of the installation shall not exceed what? You should know that a caravan is a special location. Check for the key words here and then go to page 3 and find special locations. It will be shown as electrical installations in caravans and motor caravans. You are looking for section 721. You are not looking for section 708. A caravan, section 721, is not the same as a caravan park, section 708. Many people make this mistake. Now, Go to page 306. At the top of the page, you'll find 721.1 scope. And there is your answer. You should have selected answer D, 48 volts DC. And now to question 8 about the appendices. When considering the classification of external influences, an installation where the probability of lightning disturbances is negligible, this would be influence category what? Again, four possible answers, but which one? The key words here are classification of external influences. Lightning, 
and the word negligible. There are two routes to find the answer. We can look on page 3, Main Contents, and find Appendix 5, Classification of External Influences. Or, we can look in the index on page 536. If you look in the index, near the bottom of page 536, you will find an entry. External Influences, Classification of, and it shows Appendix 5. And then go back to page 3 to look for the page number for Appendix 5. So, we arrive at Appendix 5 on page 445. You will need to turn the page to 446 where you will find a list of all the external influences. Check each possible answer against the list until you find the only one that is relevant to Lightning. And there is your answer. You should have selected Answer D, Influence Category, a Q 1. Question 9 is unaided and is there for you to attempt without help. Here is the question along with the four possible answers A, B, C or D. Pause the video while you look for the answer. The more that you attempt these questions, the more that you will learn. Look for the keywords, use them, be methodical and find the answer. And the answer will be given after question 10. And question 10 now, again, unaided. The question is full of keywords, clues to the answer. Again, pause the video and attempt an answer. All the information you need is there. The more you attempt to find the answer yourself, the easier the actual exam will be. Well, there we are. We hope that you've learnt a little something here. The help and tips given in this video are intended to help you to understand how the book is organised and how to quickly and easily find the answers by using the keywords that are included with every question. They are not intended to replace classroom teaching, where you should be taught to understand the regulations and their importance to the safe and correct functioning of installations. Practice is the key to getting better and to passing the exam. And the answers to questions 9 and 10 are shown near the bottom of this page. We will also leave a link in the description to the playlist for this series of help and tips videos and also a link to the 18th edition training videos. Thank you for watching this video, it is very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. Here are some tips on getting even more information and help out of learnelectrics.com. At your web browser, enter learnelectrics.com into the search bar. Select learnelectrics.com from the choices offered and the website, as shown, will open up for you. You now have a couple of choices. You can search for a help item or any video by entering a keyword into the search bar on the right. Click on Return and all the help files and videos with that word in the title will be listed for you. They will be shown with a short description. Click on Continue Reading for more information. Each video listed will have a link shown that will take you directly to that exact YouTube video. Or you can browse through a list of all the available items and videos. To do this, click on the LE logo on the top left of the home page and all of our items and videos will be shown. There will be 10 items shown on each page and at the bottom of each page is a page selector, page 2, page 3 and so on. They will bring up the next 10 items or videos in the list. And don't forget, you can always type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel. Be sure not to miss the next one. Once again, thanks for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.